and it is look at this like this is literally the best lace I've had in my life hi guys so I'm going to be reviewing the XRS beauty hair today this packaging is so cute it looks like a box of chocolates I think it's so adorable um, but when you first open it of course you have the hair I have the 18 inch body wave um, clear lace unit and I'm so excited for this oh my god um, and they give you a ton of goodies in the box if you can't see like you don't just get the wig you also get a comb I guess it's different for every shipment but they gave me a comb two hair clips and they also give you a wig cap which I did not use for this install but um, I'm still gonna keep it just in case it comes handy one day you also get like an elastic band to clip to the back of the wig if you need it tighter and some flexi rods so they were very generous with their shipment like I was like girl yes so to dye my hair I'm using the Revlon color silk and natural blue black or number 12 it's my favorite hair color um, I really like to get rid of the natural color of the hair which is like this dusty brown as you can see it's like the same color as my real hair which is why I dye my real hair too I really love exotic really dark hair but look at this hairline do you see do you see what I see do you feel what I feel are we feeling this together this hairline is sick like I've never had a pre-plugged wig that looked this good and the hair is so soft and so silky and I was just like Ugh. you like a kid in a candy store oh my god I was so excited I was so excited the ends look good everything looks wonderful with this wig um, so now I'm going to go into showing you how I dye the frontal part so I already just dumped all of the color on the back of the hair like no rhyme or rhythm just saturate the hair and then I'm mixing up a second bottle so it took me a total of two bottles to do this and you don't need two bottles but I just like to make sure I have like enough so I always buy extra everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start parting the frontal in very very thin sections as you see here um, thin sections so that you can actually see what you're doing and of course you clip the rest of the hair away and I'm gonna really, really take my time with this. Like I was in no rush. Like I wanted the color to sit for a long time anyway. So you get some of that on your application brush and then I start adding it to the roots, but again, not touching the lace. And then I just drag that down the rest of the hair and being very, very, very careful, but making sure that I get as close to the roots as possible without touching the lace because you don't want your roots to look brown and the rest of your hair is just black that's just not gonna be a good look so just take your time move super slowly I'm not a professional I'm just an at-home hairstylist that does my own hair and I just it's always a learn as you go process and this process has always worked for me I know some people like to do the whole like put the dye in hot water and dip it into a bucket and they say that the lace won't tint, but I've tried that and my lace turned like a dark purple color. So I would never do that again. I'm gonna stick to the old school way and just make my tiny parts and just take my time. This is like, you're putting love into the hair right now and slow and steady always wins the race. And you wanna make sure you're getting that all the way down the strands. You wanna make sure the hair is saturated because you don't want a blotchy color job. Make sure all the hair is absorbed with that color. You're not missing any piece, any strand, everything. Everybody get in these hands. All these strands get in these hands. Ooh, bars. <laughs>
So I'm just gonna speed this next part up. I'm just running through with the comb just to make sure again everything is saturated and I'm gonna speed the next part up so you can just kind of watch and enjoy the process. So now we're moving on to the top of the head. I'm grabbing bigger sections because this part will be in the back for the most part. And I was also tired and I was feeling kind of confident. So I was pretty sure I wasn't getting on the, on the lace, which I didn't. It still worked out. I'm just making sure I also brush the color on the back as well. Um, just to make sure you're not missing. Again, you just want to be very thorough, but very careful because you don't want to touch the lace. It's not gonna be cute trying to cover up little black spots in your scalp, um, but yeah. So here I'm gonna start parting just to make sure I'm not missing anything again being very thorough and I see it's a small little section there that didn't get any color on it so I'm just going through and as I'm parting the hair I'm never actually touching the lace I'm just going through the hair as close to the lace as possible but never touching and then again just combing that color through just to make sure everything is coated and saturated with that color so yeah this part is just like little last minute touch-ups any areas that I think that I missed. I'm just going through those and making sure they're set. So now we're gonna rinse out the hair. I'm using like lukewarm water. You don't wanna do too hot because it will dry the hair out and make the color rinse out as well but you don't want to do cold so you want to do like a lukewarm temperature and this hair came out so oh my god I'm wearing it now and I'm just like <laughs> it came out so good as you can see like there's no dye on the lace the lace is completely clear there is dye on the bag but I don't really care about that part because that won't be showing as long as there's no dye on the lace and I'm gonna start rinsing this out in a downward motion. So I'm rinsing the color away from the lace. I don't wanna rinse the color into the lace because again, I do not want the color to get on there. So you wanna give this a really, really good rinse. Try to get as much of the color out as you can. Um, of course, like I washed it like twice and it was still color coming out, but as long as it's mostly out, so like when you're sleeping on your pillowcases or you're wearing white, your hair is just not bleeding 
it's not bleeding on your clothes. So yeah, this is just one of the easiest processes because then you have to wash and condition it. So yeah. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to wash this hair with my favorite shampoo, which is the Shea Moisture um, Manuka Honey Shampoo and Conditioner. Well, I'm actually just using the shampoo today because I'm actually going to use the conditioner that came in the color pack. This has is sulfate free. Make sure you're using a sulfate free shampoo, but the Manuka Honey and it's an oil in here. I can't remember the oil, but I'll link it below. It makes the hair so soft, like it's very cleansing, but it's not drying. So again, I use this on my real hair as well. This is like one of my favorite shampoos at the moment. I've been using this for like a year. And it's just, it makes it makes your hair feel so, so healthy. And my hands were just gliding through this hair, even though it's not even conditioned yet. It's just the shampoo and my hair was just literally gliding through. So now I'm gonna condition the hair with the packs that came with the color, um, the Revlon conditioner. And the reason why I use this is because it's a pretty good conditioner. Um, it made the slip really good on the hair. And also it's supposed to lock in that color and just add this beautiful shine to the hair. So I went ahead and used that. And some people like to use their own conditioner. I don't mind using the conditioner that comes in the box depending on what products I'm using. And this hair, look at this. Oh my God, it looks so, it's so rich. And it was just so soft, it literally felt like butter. And that lace looks freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time. Hey girl, hey. Oh, you see what's going on your red? We got a week. So this hair is from XRS or Chris Beauty Hair, and I purchased this hair myself because I've been hearing like really, really good things about them. They have this whole like clear lace thing going and like a pre-plugged hairline that looked super natural and I must say like, okay. My whole career of like, wearing lace with this is the best lace i have ever had and even though it being clear it still was like a little light so i had to tint it still but even even though i had to tint it it was still like the best freaking lace so like you're not gonna get the whole like fresh out the box um video today i did want to wear it for like a little bit hi baby say hi pups say hi to them not me I see you every day. Say hi. I did, my hair is just back in a ponytail and braided and then I pinned it up and I also have like this wig grip on from Amazon because I, because I noticed that wigs, like even if you have glue on them, like when the glue starts to lift a little bit, it starts to pull back and it'll pull on your edges and I really don't like that. It's already a problem because my I don't have a lot of for his space to work with. So I need to do what I can to make sure I'm not losing no edges. Um, so this kind of helps. So when the glue is like starting to lift or the wig is lifting, this kind of keeps it in place. So it's not moving back, it's just lifting. It's not like pulling back on your hair. So for tinting my lace, I did use this even tinted lace spray in the color dark brown. I think they got one color under this, but they got quite a few colors before this. So easy. Super, super easy. And you can like layer the sprays if you need to get darker or darker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start positioning. So I did put gel in my hair, so my edges should move. Gel and holding spray. 
So I'm going to start. Now, if I put my wig where it was supposed to be, it would be here. Like if I wanted to put a, a wig on my skin and not my hair, which is why I don't use glue because I just can't put glue on my hair. Um, it would be way up here, right? But we're not putting a wig way up there today. And my part is kind of off, but that's okay. We can fix that. So right now I'm basically just making sure I'm lining up my hair where it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna change where this part is because that's not centered. <laughs> and I did try to style it on the um, mannequin head, which is why my part was off. So first things first. I'm just gonna start. Let's start back on this back. How about that? Because the part throwing me off. The part is making me feel like it it's on the middle, but it's not on the middle. So because everything is already like cut, I kind of already got a guide to where my hair is gonna sit. And like if it sits like here, that's not bad. Just making sure it can go around my ear nicely. I'm going to take my little edge brush and I'm just going to start brushing down these baby hairs just to keep them out of the way. Keep them out of the way. So this wig is like 200 Either 200, I believe it was 250, 250 density. And it's thick, like she's very, very full. The natural curl on this hair is beautiful. It's, it's a body wave, so like, it wasn't like a crazy wave. So this is a hair wax. I'm going to take this hair wax. Just like that. And you gotta do the hot long, girl, you got to. This is a red. Hot comb, brand is red. It gets really, really hot. Like I got it at 500 degrees. Heads up, you never, ever, ever want to use 500 degrees on your real hair, ever, never. But like, it's a wig, you know, so you can have fun with it. And I did dye this hair black. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put that in a video. I just didn't know if I wanted to make that a separate video or like, add that to this one. Oh my god. I did plug a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I plugged a little bit here because again my hairline is very weird. When I first had the wig if I pulled it down right on the sides the hair came down here. So they give you a lot of lace to work with. So I basically had to cut into all of that lace and it was hair on the lace. So I had to cut through all of that just to like give my forehead some, some, some show time. You know she wanted she want a spot on the stage. I'm just gonna cut a little lace <clears throat> off over here. Just a tiny bit. Because that part was coming down too far from me. So I'm basically laying this because I'm not using glue. I'm gonna be using a spray, which is a lot better for my hair. Um, I'm gonna lay this directly on my hairline. And girl, look at that. Like when you lay it down. Okay, so once I got that kind of where I want it, I'm just gonna peel back the lace. And the holding spray that I'm gonna be using is the Gosta V Insta Holds, High Insta Holds. Yeah, and I actually like this one better than the yellow spray, which is what I used to use. I don't know what they do differently, but this spray is definitely, it's better. I guess the formula is different, but it's so much better. So, so I'm spraying that and it's not gonna dry which is fine. You don't really want it to dry yet. And I'm just gonna place that. Take my blow dryer on cool. 
You could just tie it too, but I kind of like it. Okay. Okay, so I stuck the middle down first and now I'm gonna work on the side. So I'm gonna flip that up. Start spraying the face. So that shoulder's got on my face. Damn. Make sure I get it a little bit on my skin and where you know the lace is gonna stick. This is like very beginner friendly. If you just want like a quick install, you're gonna wear for like one or two days, go for this. If you wanna use like a week or so, if you want your wig to be on for a week or so, then you need to like use some glue, which I am not partial to the glue at all. Because I like my life and my edges. So I'm just gonna bring that straight down like so i don't want these hairs to get stuck so because they tend to get stuck in this part. So we got that side down. Let's call these hairs. I just like to press that just to make sure it's in there. Make sure she ain't going nowhere. And then we're just gonna do the next side. So flap up, spray. I'm being very generous with the spray because I don't need no slip ups, girl. It's not like I'm going away, it's late. I'm going to sleep right after this, but, you know, I was on her last for a couple of days in case I'm gonna go somewhere. It's like it's real instant mode. Like I really don't even have to keep the blow dry on it that long. So like now she's Girl, she on that. I love this spray. This is like literally my new favorite shit. So I'm going to continue to comb these hairs out because I don't want them to like mix with the other hair. Right. I'm gonna do a little spray wherever I see the lace lifting. So any little parts that did not get laid down, I'm gonna spray just like this. Okay. All right, so once we do that, Okay, so once that's like that, I'm gonna take a scarf. This is just like my wig scarf because I want it to be kind of thin so I can still work on my hair and see what I'm doing. Okay, so we can take that down. Take my hot comb. So make sure we get these edges laying nice and flat.
A hot comb is very crucial to a natural looking install because wigs can look very thick and wiggy. So this is gonna help you flatten it. There we go. And we're getting somewhere. So these little flyaways up here, I just take some loose. This is Nairobi. And I'll just add that mousse up there. And it immediately lays them down. And again, go over with your hat comb. Okay, so this hair is so freaking pretty and it's so soft. So I did not bleach the knots on here. I didn't feel like I needed to. Like as you can see, the scalp looks pretty good. I don't know if they already bleached the knots, but it sure looks like they did. Um, also, I noticed that when you bleach your knots, your lace doesn't last as long. Like it'll start balding in the front. You gotta keep cutting off more and more lace as you reinstall it. And I haven't had that issue. Um, something I will say though is that this hair shit likes it sheds. Like I don't know if that's just. I mean, every wig that I've had shed. Like when people are doing hair reviews and they're just like, "Oh my god, this hair doesn't shed." I'm just like, "Are you sure?" Because I will order from that same hair company and my wig would shed. But it doesn't bother me as long as it's not like excessive shedding. This is like from a week of brushing. So like a week of brushing. Well, not a week, maybe like four days. Four days of brushing this much hair, which it's kind of a lot, of, kind of a lot of hair. But the density is so thick on the hair that it's really not making a difference. So I'm gonna put like some soft waves in it. Okay, so now that that's all curled, I just kind of take my fingers, fluff it out. This hair like holds a curl. So pretty! Oh my god, I can curl this part one more time because I'm gonna lift it up. It's the right one looking for him. Control freak. There she goes. I did layer this hair as well. I just took some shears and ch -ch 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 down. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that with another wig or something. So I always go back in with, with my hot comb just to make sure everything is staying flat. There. And now we can take off this because it's been sitting for at least 15 minutes, probably like 20. It took me like 
yes bitch. I love this part this is like my favorite part so I'm gonna take my little scissors and any baby hairs that I need to cut because I did have them like long and obnoxious at first but I realized now I kind of want them just a smidgen, smidgen shorter than they were. I don't need them showing out too, too, too much. Okay, so now we can do the fun part, which is the baby hairs. <laughs> is that everybody's favorite part? Let me show my favorite part. So I'm gonna take some mousse and just kind of put that on the back of my hand. You don't wanna use a lot of this because again, it's not glue, it's just hairspray. So it's not gonna take too much um manipulation with product as well as like a glue lid because it'll it'll just start lifting so no so i just take a little bit of that mousse and we just gonna start laying the edges And I like my baby hairs to be on the on the semi-dramatic side because I grew up in the 90s where baby hairs was like popping. <laughs> so I'm just going in doing a few swoops like so. I'm trying to do this quick, y'all, because I'm so sleepy. And I just want to wrap my hair up and go to bed. Okay. And I also like dramatic baby hairs. I feel like it really helps to like hide the lace. Like I don't really like to see my lace. Um, I do like this whole new like no baby hair stuff people is doing, but I just feel like it only looks good in videos. I feel like in real life, if I don't have any baby hairs there, you can tell. And again, I'm not putting like too, too much effort into this because I am not going anywhere. But if I was going somewhere, I would be like extremely, extremely, extremely precise and like really paying attention. But I'm just trying to give y'all like a quick basic, quick basic, quick basic 101 all lace wigs. Okay, take that down. And now I'm gonna take some bio silk. But you can use like any like shine serum or oil that you want. Again, you don't have to be too heavy handed. That was like less than a pea size I just used. And I'm just rubbing that through the hair. And that just gives it this really pretty, like, shine that I love. Yo, I'm really, really, really loving this 18-inch hair. Like, I don't know what it is about this 18-inch hair. Like, it's just, it looks so, it looks very grown. Like, I feel very grown and sophisticated with 18 inch hair. Put the red tail comb. Comb those little fuzzies down. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and the smallest amount of my bronzer, like a very, very small amount. And this is like um, Pula Tosa bronzer. I'm actually gonna take off the extra. And just dab this on any parts that may be white because sometimes the glue tends to do that. And 
and that just further blends everything in. Then I'm gonna take some of my concealer. I'm using the Born This Way Multi Sculpt in the color Mocha, but you can use any concealer, literally just your own concealer. And just a thin brush. Take off some of that extra. You don't want too, too, too much. You can also do this with powder, but. And I'm just like tapping that in so it doesn't look like it's sitting on top of the lace, but like actually a part of the lace. Boom. Boom. Ain't she cute? KRS Beauty, I'm definitely gonna be reordering from them. Like I said before, I bought this hair myself. I did not get sent this hair. I spent my own coin on this hair and it is, look at this, like this is literally the best lace I've had in my life. And the hair feels so good. My only, my only bone to pick is the shedding. But again, that's something I just feel like I always run into with like wigs. It doesn't matter like what the hair company is. Everything freaking sheds all the time, but I've had this hair for like two weeks now and she's still click kicking. The color still looks great. Like I use the um, Revlon color silk and blue black. And I like blue black cause it's not really blue, but it's so like the blue makes it so rich. Like it's not just like a flat black, but it's very rich. If I was in the sun, it'll be, it'll look so black that it looks like a tint of blue, but like not too much, but like it's my favorite. I got my real hair this color. I love really dark, rich hair. Um, but yeah, guys, this is, this is it. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's so cute. <laughs> I can go to sleep feeling like a girl now. I love this like less than perfect wavy look. Like I love, 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 love that. I love the curls to not be like so uniform. Like they kind of falling out naturally. Like this is my favorite hairstyle. But if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and share this girl because we all be looking for lace wig tips. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.